So I'm on vacation in Calistoga for the weekend, and I'm still in shock that the 49ers hired Brian Greasy as their quarterback's coach. Now, he could be great. I am open-minded. I have no idea how he's going to do. Neither do you. Neither does he. Neither does the 49ers. He's never done this before. You know, before the Niners hired their quarterback coach, I asked a lot of my co-hosts on my show. I asked a lot of viewers. <clears throat> I thought we all agreed. We wanted the Niners to hire someone with experience. Big project coaching Trey Lance. The biggest project uh, on the roster, the most important player on the roster. It was important to get someone with a track record, experience, developing young quarterbacks. Well, the Niners didn't do that. Brian Greasy's qualifications for this job are that he knows Kyle Shanahan and that he played quarterback for Kyle Shanahan's dad. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's it though. And it's kind of a slap in the face to every quarterback's coach in the world with more experience. And it just shows you that the way the NFL is evolving, it's all about who you know, not what you know. I mean, really, if Kyle Shanahan, if the qualifications he valued the most were his experience and a track record of developing young quarterbacks, he could have interviewed dozens of quarterbacks coaches from college. NFL all over and said, what have you done? Show me the, the success you've had developing a quarterback. Instead, it seems like what happened was, you know, John Lynch mentioned that Kyle doesn't have a big network. His last two quarterback coaches, Rich Gangarello and Shane Day, not great. And they're both gone. And so what Kyle probably did was call his dad and say, Mike, you know any quarterback coaches? And Mike was like, no. Kyle's like, okay, well, what about any quarterbacks? Mike was like, <sighs> was greasy. Kyle's like, okay, fine. So you got Greasy, and he has no experience. You know, D'Amico Ryans was a, was a player. Um, he, he became a position coach. The thing about D'Amico Ryans, he was quality control first. Most of these players that become coaches work their way up from the bottom, either as a scout first or a quality control. Greasy's going right to position coach, and he's coaching the most important player on the team. Um, wow. So, yeah, uh, probably Mike was like, I can get you Greasy. And Kyle is like, eh, better than nothing. So now let's review. The Niners have had total uh, overhaul in their offensive staff this year. And now their, their quarterback coach has never coached quarterbacks before. He's a rookie. Their tight end coach, Brian Fleury, never coached tight ends before, never been a tight end coach. He's a rookie. Wide receiver coach, Leonard Hankerson, was a wide receiver, was quality control, still first year as a wide receiver coach. There is not a lot of experience on the 49ers offensive coaching staff. Now they do have Kyle Shanahan, who's quite a coach. And he's put himself in a very interesting position. It's him and a bunch of rookies and Trey Lance. And they got to produce this year. I, I think it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out. <laughs>